one thing that's very unique about jujitsu is that you're getting beat up when it's not going well. Like <laughs> growing up skiing competitively, which is what I did way before finding jujitsu. If I was having a bad day skiing or like I, I couldn't figure something out, it's, you know, it's tough. It's tough to deal with. So you go back to the drawing board and you work on it. When you're having a bad day on the mats, someone's knee is in your sternum. They're choking you out. They're, ex yeah. they're hyperextending your elbow. They're outpacing you. <laughs> they're out scrambling you. They're knee slicing you. It's like having a bad day in training is so much worse than having a bad day on the basketball court where you're like missing shots. So then you're, you're really faced. And I think even in, in the six years that I've been doing jujitsu, and I'm sure you've seen this a trillion times, you see so many people stop because of exactly that they're faced with that failure or, or difficulty and they're not quite sure how to handle it where you could fail and go back to the drawing board and then keep working and keep training I get another training partner work on something with your coach I think a lot of people hit that and it's so overwhelming that they get stuck and they and then they leave yeah it happens to most people um like I said, I've been in black belt for about three years now, and like those first two years were really tough, and like that's pretty much how I was feeling. So, yep. yeah, I was like actually like serious about like not competing anymore and like limiting my training because it wasn't fun. And like I was trying to think about like different career paths oh. if I wasn't gonna like stick with jujitsu, and like it just it got really. It's like the voices you know, they start. Yeah, they start going like this, right? They, hey, you, you know, you could do this or you could do that. What What is your secret yeah. to? I was like scrambling around trying to think of like other ideas I could do because I was like, man, I've been doing jiu-jitsu my whole life. I don't know what else I have for myself right now. What do but you? Then, you know, what do you think after... is like your secret to that mental fortitude? That way to find a way to keep going to truck through those moments of doubt of despair of being down things not going your way like what keeps you going keeps pushing you through that yeah so i mean it's different for everyone but at least what worked for me was um the people you surround yourself with um i don't know if you've been aoj or not but you know they're very um that's awesome <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah there's very like strong-minded people there yeah. and you know everyone everyone's on a mission there. Like everyone wants to train hard and, you know, they're hungry, you know, they want to become this superstar. They want to win a world, the black belt. And, you know, it's hard to be around people and feel a certain way. Like you want to give up because those yeah. are the type of people that well, they're not going to let you just stop and give up. And, um, uh, you know, professor Gee and uh, my boyfriend, Zach, who I started Jiu Jitsu with, you know, they played a big role in that and on me continuing, you know, they just, kept trying to like reassure myself that like you know I'm still good I still got it and that like things they take time and especially yeah. for the black belt like it takes takes time I I mean there's some people that we see online that like you know they win everything in the color belts and then they win everything in the black belt yeah. but then I was like it's unrealistic like there's only like a couple less than five people that I can name that have actually had their whole career like that like yeah. that's not like it's not normal and I guess like you know, there are some people that are at AOJ that are like that. So it kind of makes you feel bad. I'm like, oh, like my journey is not like that. Like I should just stop now because I was like, I already messed up because I was already on like losing streak for like two years in the black belt. So, you know, all of that, you know, adds up. But uh, honestly, if it wasn't for like the people that were close to me, like I probably would have like gave up on myself. But, uh, you know, I really tried to think about like all the work that I put in throughout the years, all the sacrifices I did that my family did for me yep. just to get me here. And I was just thinking that like, you know, if I were to stop now and like look back in like another year that I would regret it 